The far left radical progressive wing of the Democratic Party is like your crazy aunt at the Thanksgiving table. She's loud, she's tough to ignore, but everyone puts up with her outrageous outburst because she's family. Now, just imagine dozens of those crazy gender nonspecific individuals in Congress supported by millions of like crazy people on social media. And there you've got the radical progressive wing of the Democratic Party. We are here today because the United States Supreme Court is broken. It is out of balance uh, and it needs to be fixed. That's Democratic Senator Edward Markey from Massachusetts, one of the most liberal members of Congress promoting legislation that would add four justices to the Supreme Court, expanding the court from nine justices to 13. And that's because six of the justices were nominated by Republican presidents, only three by Democratic presidents. And that's why the number four is important here. It is a purely political move that gives the Democrats the majority of nominated justices. The Democrats are still very upset that President Donald Trump was able to nominate three Supreme Court justices in just one term, and they firmly believe that two of those seats were stolen from them. On February 13th, 2016, conservative justice Antonin Scalia died just nine months before Election Day. President Obama announced Merrick Garland as his nominee a little over a month later on March 16th. I have fulfilled my constitutional duty. Now it's time for the Senate to do theirs. But the Republicans controlled the Senate and then Majority Leader Mitch McConnell refused to even consider the nomination, quoting a very powerful Democratic name, Joe Biden who was then vice president. Let me remind colleagues of what Vice President Biden said when he was chairman of the Judiciary Committee here in the Senate. Here's what he said. It would be our pragmatic conclusion that once the political season is underway, and it is, action on a Supreme Court nomination must be put off until after the election campaign is over. It was a strong argument, but then four years later, fate offered McConnell a truth test. Liberal Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg died on September 18th, 2020, less than two months before Election Day. And this time, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he would do everything he could to quickly confirm President Trump's nominee. But do you understand why many Americans view this as a double standard? I can only repeat that uh, we have an obligation under the Constitution, should we choose to take advantage of it, uh, to fill the vacancy, and I assure you that's very likely to happen. It did happen. Conservative Justice Amy Comey Barrett was confirmed on October 26, just five weeks after the death of Justice Ginsburg. So that's why Democrats are so upset and now want to add four seats to right what they believed was an egregious wrong. Yes, Mitch McConnell was exposed as a hypocrite. Just like fate exposed Senator Markey and the other Democrats who want to expand the court right now to 13, even though they were fine with nine back in 2016. Hypocrisy is one of the few things that is truly bipartisan. The Supreme Court has had nine justices since 1869, and the last president who tried to change that was Democrat Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who tried to add six seats in 1937. It didn't go well for him. The move was seen as a power grab by the American public, and Roosevelt was accused of trying to control the Supreme Court and thus become a dictator. Even Democrats were against the plan. Over 50 years later, it was still considered a bad idea. But it was a bonehead idea. It was a terrible, terrible mistake to make, and it put in question for an entire decade the independence of the most significant body, including the Congress in my view, the most significant body in this country, the Supreme Court of the United States of America. That was Senator Joe Biden in 1993 on the Senate Judiciary Committee. 
Now, President Biden is at least willing to consider the option of court packing. He signed an executive order that sets up a bipartisan commission to study Supreme Court reform. Are you willing to tell the American people tonight whether or not you will support either ending the filibuster or packing the court? Whatever position I take on that, that'll become the issue. The issue is the American people should speak. You should go out and vote. You're in voting now. Vote and let your senators know how you strongly you feel. Court? Let Vote now. Are you going to pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he doesn't you're want to a senator. The question. I'm not going to answer the question. What? Republicans say Biden was hiding his true intentions because he knows that court packing is very unpopular with the public and could have cost him the election. Polls have consistently shown that Americans overwhelmingly hate the idea. I would not get into court packing. We, we had three justices. Next time around, we lose control. They had three justices. We began to lose any credibility for the court has at all. So yes, Biden became evasive, but not to hide his true intentions from the rest of us, from the American people, but from the crazy ant at the Thanksgiving table, the far left wing of the Democratic Party, because they are loud. They are powerful, and they have an even louder and passionate following. They have been known to primary Democratic candidates who don't agree with them. So, so what that President Biden put together a commission to study court reform? Critics are reading the wrong thing into this. Commissions are where ideas go to die. He's placating the far left by acting like he's doing something when he's actually doing nothing. And as for the court packing legislation that Senator Markey and his liberal boy band want to pass, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi won't even consider it. Uh, the answer to your question, I have no plans to bring it to the floor. No. The moderate hiding deep inside President Joe Biden is taking a passive aggressive stand against the radical left of his own party. Trust me on this, court packing is never going to happen, no matter how much the crazies at the family table might want it. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon.